<clears throat> so moving out of February, you have the Sun in reverse, the Three of Wands, and the Magician in reverse. So two major Arcana cards in reverse. So where in your life, Cancer, are you feeling defeated or hitting roadblocks or up against um, people or situations or things that are arising in your life that feel like stumbling blocks that are preventing you and moving forward on your plans, especially with the three, the three of wands. I know I have cancer moon and I've experienced this just in trying to record these videos for all of you, um, where I'm staying in Arizona hasn't been conducive to me recording. So I manifested the most wonderful space to be able to do this in today. And so I understand these energies of a little bit of frustration with where you think you should be at this point in time moving out of February and what reality is presenting you with and feeling having to let go of your timing and understanding that divine timing doesn't always match up with what you think needs to happen when. That's the message that's coming through. Pull the clarifier cards. Yeah, we can kick and scream with the Queen of Swords and all we want. Um, but the sun is a far stronger energy than this Queen of Swords and all she has to say about what she's not getting and by when she wants it by. So relaxing the grip, Cancer, on your plans and thinking that we know best or you know best or whoever's watching this knows best and bringing in the trust of the divine plan, even though it's at our back and we can't fully see where it's going to be taking us. And pull clarifiers. Because sulking over what feels to be a loss, I feel like you're moving through this energy, though, since it's in reverse. You, you have the opportunity towards the end of February, moving into the new March energies of the full moon on March 1st or March 2nd, depending on where you are in the world's cancer. I feel like you're you're getting over the sulking and the bitching and the crying and you're able to to let these three cups the spilt the spilt milk you're not you've done your crying over it and boohooing and you don't want to be in that energy it doesn't feel good to you so you're moving on from it <clears throat> And with a little bit of a determination, and I feel like this, these are words from other people, possibly from air signs that you're going to receive these communications just in the nick of time. And they're going to be what these people share with you is going to be appropriate and just what you needed to hear in order for you to flip this magician card over and regain your power and your sense of self and divinity and know that you are a creator and a manifester and you do have all of the tools at your fingertips and everything at your disposal when you get out of this energy of complaining and sulking and being upset because that being in that space doesn't get us what we want cancer so well, let's move on shall we to march the hermit he i think he's been coming up in every single reading so far i've done aries 
Taurus and Gemini. I'm going straight through the Zodiac this month. King of Wands in reverse. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. I always like to pull clarifiers, especially on the Major Arcana. <clears throat> so I... What's coming up, Cancer, with the Four of Pentacles on the Hermit is you've gone through this process before of utilizing what you have in a practical manner and has gotten you to where you are now and you've learned lessons through those experiences and karmically they're precisely what you've needed to go through to get you to where you are today and in the situations that you're facing now. And with the hermit sort of turning his back on this energy of, I feel like there's a stuckness here in a feeling of not enough or lack in the outer world, in your outer environment, Cancer, and where you're going to find ultimate fulfillment moving into March and throughout March is, is a softening of the, your, the attention that you give your thoughts and dropping your energies from your head into your heart. He's holding the lantern and it's more at the heart level than it is the head, but it's also the bridge of between the head and the heart. And I feel like it goes back and forth for him that his heart centeredness can illuminate his mentality. And from that place, he can move forward into the divine plan and not his plan, which is what was coming through up here, Cancer, moving into March. So let's see what else. He's been coming up quite a bit too. All right, two kings in reverse <laughs> facing each other. So this is a face off. And I feel like this is happening behind the scenes in the shadows. I feel like this is an internal battle between what you feel is the right course of action to take and what you actually really want to be spending your time on cancer. And I feel this oscillating between the two energies and this inner conversation going back and forth. And they're both equally prominent and equally strong. And I feel like you want to be spending time out in nature with the little lizard here and the lion at his head. And they're both outside, but it's a much more clear day for the King of Wands here. And it's a little bit more gray and stormy and the seas are kicking up here and the fish are wanting to play, but he's not even noticing. He's, I feel like there's an emotional stubbornness with him when this card is in reverse and he's tempting this emotional stubbornness to, to get off his damn seat and budge from his perspective and come play with him over here. And I don't know that either of them are particularly per se right. I want to see... Because I, I feel like this is the ego talking with the ego, different elements. And this is your higher spiritual self that's, that's wanting to pull you and not distract you, but to give you a higher focus out and away from the practical lack feeling and these internal battles between the cups and the wands, the passions and the emotional perhaps turmoil that you could be pulling in a little bit of that energy from February cancer. And it, it feels 
I'll pull a clarifier on this card as well, the Eight of Swords. And you're putting yourself, you're putting yourself in the situation. Nobody's doing this to you. The Eight of Swords is a card of mental stuckness and sort of going around and around in the same thinking and not being able to move on from a particular either thought pattern or behavior pattern or habit and it feeling like you're trapped, like you're trapped in that cycle. Cancer <laughs> with the tower. And you may not want to be releasing parts of your life that no longer serve you. I feel like you're closing your eyes to this process needing to happen. And when we, when we resist or when we deny the process of change in our lives, it's going to happen anyway. And we can go with the flow and accept what's happening in our lives or we can resist it and in the resistance it makes it far far more uncomfortable and I feel like the solace that you're going to be finding in the month of March cancer is a very quiet inward space and giving yourself the time and attention and your spirituality needs to be the focus of where you're putting your, your effort. And it's not even so much an effort as much as it's an allowing. <clears throat> and I don't feel like you're going to feel particularly social throughout the month of March. And these could be outer people, these two, these two kings too, who want you to come out and play. And you're just not feeling up to it um, because you have other things to attend to. You want the ground below you and your foundation from what, on which you stand upon to feel solid in order for you to go without. I just got the image of the crab and that's your animal cancer. When you're not feeling safe and secure in your own home, like you need to get that part in order before you can fully blossom into the outer worlds and offer your gifts. And if that's not taken care of, then the pause button needs to be hit before and your within the solitude is where you're going to find your grounding again. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's okay. All right. I'm going to pull, I'm going to flip the bottom three cards all in reverse. The Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So the Nine of Cups is the Wish Fulfillment card. And I feel like Cancer, and I'm going to say we, because since I am Cancer Moon again, we've been looking outside of ourselves and maybe trying to distract ourselves with outer relationships to find our fulfillment. And we just keep coming up against disappointment. And I want, I don't want to say failure, but just not the end result of what we were hoping for out of these partnerships and these relationships. And it keeps happening over and over and over. There's nine here. And it's like, when are we going to get it? When are we going to get it? When do we <clears throat> release this pattern of looking without in order to feel whole within? 
clarifier. There she is. She, the Nine of Pentacles is the card of prosperity and independence, financial wealth, and feeling like we have everything we need and standing on our own two feet. And from that place, she's able to go out into the outer worlds. And I feel like there's a message coming in with the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands here. But she's looking down. She's not really paying attention to what that little birdie on her hand has to say. Let's see if it will focus in on that. It should be. Here we go. She's like, hmm, whatever you have to say isn't important. I'm doing my thing. <laughs> I'm gonna flip clarifiers for these strength, moon. Yeah, I feel again like these are out outside communications coming in to her and you're holding strong towards the end of March, Cancer, because what they have to say, you know, isn't based on, they don't have the whole story. And if they did, they wouldn't be saying those things to you. And there's a, there's a little bit of, mm, not deceit, but inaccuracy with the moon universe on the, on the Eight of Wands. So you're dismissing, again, these communications your strength is, is stopping these communications from affecting you. Try to get out into the sunshine. I'm seeing a lot of yellow here. I feel that the power of the sun is going to be very rejuvenating for you in the month of March. And depending on where you are in the world, Cancer, I know in the Northern Hemisphere, it's starting to turn into spring towards the end of the month and the days are getting longer. There'll be more opportunity for you to get outside and to spend some time in the sunshine, facing the sun. Not looking directly into the sun, but closing your eyes and basking, like opening up your throat chakra and letting the sun shine its rays and its warmth and its heat and its vitality into your throat chakra is coming through. So that when you do go out into the world, you're, you're speaking from a place of purity and truth and inner knowingness that you've been working on through the month of, month of March. And the other people's opinions of your situation is your it's not going to affect you because you know you you've reconnected with this higher divinely guided plan. This is the energy that you're moving through in the month of March with this tower energy in reverse because you don't want to feel this way anymore. And sometimes the pain of situations is exactly what we need in order to get ourselves out of our own way. It's like enough is enough. And we get, and we get sick of this feeling sorry for ourselves. And so that's good news. I feel like you're moving towards out of that energy towards the end of the month and acquiring this, an inner serenity. Mm -hmm. So let's pull an oracle card and do Archangel Michael for you from the Doreen Virtue deck. For an additional message for the month of March, Cancer. 
I hope that reading made sense. The Oracle cards usually gives more of a solidified message. It pulls it, the reading all together. So let me know down in the comment section the parts that you're picking up on that jumped out at you, Cancer, that you found were resonating with what you're dealing with and what you're going through in the month of March. I'd love to hear from you. Love having you here. Thank you for being here. Okay. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. So there you go. <laughs> There's the tower again. He's rising above the situation. These people are falling, but he's flying. He's being elevated. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with describe the situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. I love that. I'll read you the message from her book. The situation that's concerning you can improve with Archangel Michael's help. This card serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get the angels involved, and their assistance will improve everything immediately, including giving you inner peace, new ideas, and insights. Michael will help you in ingenious and unexpected ways, so be open to miracles that take on surprising forms. So these inner, the inner peace, the new ideas and insights is definitely coming through this quiet time that you are giving to yourself in the month of March, Cancer. Possible specific meanings, know that you're powerful, you're not a victim. <laughs> we are not victims. Watch the conversations that you say to yourself, Cancer, about yourself. Release any blame for yourself or others. Focus upon solutions, not problems. Allow other people to help you. Keep an open mind to alternative solutions. 